All right, YouTube, we are looking at Craigslist. Um, recently, I had a couple people ask me about how I search Craigslist and how I get notified on my phone. So that's what this video is going to be about. Um, if you've watched some of my videos before, you have probably seen that I buy a lot of stuff off Craigslist. Um, a lot of times I'm showing deals that I've bought, uh, usually dirt bikes, four wheelers, some, kind of, some uh, every now and then a motorcycle, uh, but mainly dirt bikes and four wheelers. Now, this is on the computer and for the most part I find stuff I'm looking for in the motorcycle section occasionally it's in the RV section um, in the last couple of days I've noticed that Craigslist has added uh, some other areas there's the ATV, UTV and I guess snowmobile um, and then also in the uh, motorcycle section they have motorcycles, all motorcycles by dealer, owner, and then parts. So they've kind of broken it down into more categories, which is going to be a little bit more difficult for me to find what I'm looking for. Um, I've noticed that the parts, it, let's see, there's where it stops. So um, that it's not really full. So I guess a lot of people are still listing on the actual motorcycle section. Um, their parts and everything. And same thing, the ATV section is uh, not that full either. But the motorcycle section still is. But I guess these other ones will catch on pretty soon. Um, but anyway, the purpose of this video is to not show you the computer, but to show you the app I have on my phone. So, my phone's halfway dead, so I got the uh, charger plugged in. So I'll see here. Now, the phone I've got is a smartphone um, by Verizon. Uh, it's the HTC, HTC Resound, which is about a year and a half, two years old now, um, but it still works great. Uh, it is uh, running on the Droid system, so it's not like, um, it's not an iPhone, so some of the apps might be a little bit different, but I think you can get the same app no matter what, um, or a similar app. Now, being that it is on the Droid system, to get, get the apps, I usually go to the Play Store, which is this one here. And I've already searched. Let's see if it comes up. Oh, it didn't come up. Let's see here. I'm going to search Craigslist. There's going to come up with a bunch of choices. Now, the very first one that I picked was this one here the Craigslist Mobile. You see, it's got four stars. Um, and I still have it installed. Actually, if you see that little whoop, upside down peace symbol up top. That shows I have a notification from this app, that one there. And that was the first one that I bought or used. It was free. Um, I noticed that it was getting kind of slow. I don't know if other people have had the same issue. So I looked on here again and I found this one, the, the C Pro Craigslist Client Droid. Um, that one has four and a half stars. And I'm not exactly sure if uh, that extra half a star is because people were having the same issue I, were, I was. But this one was free. Um, so that's the one that I am using now uh, for the most part but I still have the old one listed I just don't check it that often um, usually it's the the C Pro and the main thing I like about it it seems to be faster uh, if something pops up on Craigslist usually this one notifies me before that one does so in the Play Store I search oh it zooms crazy I searched Craigslist these were the main ones that popped up and there's some other ones that uh, let's see five more Oh, come on, that's not what I wanted to do. Earlier when I looked, there was a bunch of other ones. Oh, 54 more. There we go, 54 more. So you got a whole bunch more. You got this one, which is an update. Then you have one, the C Pro, which is $1.99. Actually, last time I went on there, they tried to uh, ask me if I wanted to buy that. But I'm just going to use the one I'm, I've got already. Um, some of these other ones might be okay. I haven't used any of them, so the only ones I've used are the first two. C Pro and Craigslist Client uh, Craigslist Mobile and the C Pro Craigslist Client Droid. And let me show you what they look like and, and how I've set up to get good deals on Craigslist. Now, for the most part, I'm looking for cheap dirt bikes, four-wheelers, motorcycles. Um, so what I've done, here's the first one that I have set up. 
if we go there, it basically has keywords you can search for, categories you can search in, locations. Um, I'm going to hit search settings, and this basically shows what my settings are. Um, I have no minimum price set. I've got a maximum price of $600. Um, so basically anything in the motorcycle section in Richmond, Virginia for under 600 bucks pops up. Okay, So I'm going to show you when the notification comes up. Here we have uh, the notification from that app. And these are searches that I've got. Um, I've got a couple other ones. I've got one in the motorcycle section uh, for $600 or less. Um, $250 on rate because I don't even look at this one that much anymore. Um, I've got one in the recreational vehicle section for $500. Bucks. And motorcycle section with the keyword project, $500 or less. And then Norton BSA Triumph thousand um, dollars that's just actually on Craigslist it's not even in a section uh, that one says you know the for sale section for motorcycles this one's just for sale so it's off the main search for the the Richmond area so these are three uh, or four searches that I have set up for the old app um, so we'll do let's do project just to see what I've missed out on um, so everything's gonna be under 500 bucks uh, and these are all the listings recently, five days ago, three days ago, ten hours ago. Um, so anything on Craigslist with the keyword project from the motorcycle section has been pulled up. Um, so let's just see what this 80cc four-wheeler was. It's been deleted. Huh, must have been a good project. All right, so that's the old app. Um, like, you, like I said, I went into those categories and I basically set a price. Anything under that uh, will pop up and let me know. So all the cheap deals, that's how I find out. Um, that's the little icon for the, uh, the old one. And like I said, that one started to get where it was slow to notify me. So I did the C-Pro Craigslist app, which was also free. And this one seems to be faster. Usually if I have a notification, this one will pop up. And then within a, maybe a couple minutes, the old one will pop up. So let's go ahead and go to this one. It looks a little bit different. Um, same thing. It has a search at the top. Same location, Richmond category, motorcycles by owner, 600 bucks. Same thing. Um, searches. You can see what my search is. You can delete it and change. You can uh, also add more searches as well. But, uh, so these are some recent ones that have popped up. This one actually has pictures that pops up with it. Um, if it has pictures, but it shows the pictures. Some ads obviously don't have pictures with them. But uh, now you can see sometimes where that one, that's obviously not under $600. Um, it's however they, somehow they've worded it in, I'm looking, it doesn't have a price. So that's why that's why this one popped up on my $600 or less search. So every now and then that, that'll happen. But you can pretty much look at the picture and tell that that's not going to be a $600 deal. But all of these are... Oh, and also, here's another one, another example. This one... This is five fifty, your best offer. Every now and then they slip through. Um, it doesn't have a price in the actual price line so that's probably why this one got through let's see see where this one says sixty dollars that means in the price section when they were listing it they put sixty bucks these they didn't put anything um, so that's why it comes up like that so let me go back and sorry about the camera moving around I just got the new camera I'm not not yeah actually I'm used usually using this phone as my camera and uh, now I've got another, an actual camcorder with the flip open window and I'm not too used to it. I'm usually uh, holding, holding it different and everything. Um, let's see. All right, right here it says alerts. I think that'll tell me pretty much what we just looked at. 
all the recent alerts that have popped up. Oops, I went too far. All right, searches. Um, that's going to show the search that I've got set up. Um, favorites. Let's see. I don't know if I have anything. I don't know. I might have accidentally picked something. I guess you can, if you really like something, you can set it as a favorite. I don't know what that was. Let's see. Post. All right. So the post. It's not just for searching. If I want to actually add something to Craigslist, I can sign in um, by doing the post. Now I'm going to do my menu button. It gives me some more categories. Filters, settings, select city, select category, post. So filters, pretty much what I'm looking for. Um, search titles only, preview picture. Uh, category is six hundred dollars less. So anything in the motorcycle section, six hundred bucks. That's what I was looking for. And like I said, this one's been pretty, pretty handy. Um, so hopefully this helps out somebody. Um, like I said, I've had a couple people ask me how I get a lot of the good deals that I do. Um, pretty much it's because of this app. Uh, my phone makes a noise anytime anything under six hundred bucks goes off or is listed in the Richmond area in the motorcycle section. Um, and that usually gives me a little bit of a jump on a lot of people. Um, even though, believe it or not, even though I have this app, I am still searching Craigslist on a regular basis um, because, like I said, there's a, about a 15-minute delay from when something is listed. And actually, actually, if you list something on Craigslist, there's a 15-minute delay before it's actually on the listing on the computer. And then uh, this is about another 10 to 15 minutes from that. So... Um, I usually search Craigslist just to see if there's anything that's actually on there that hasn't popped up as a notification yet. So this is one of the tools that I use. So this one I've had more luck with is the C Pro, Craigslist Pro. But I've also used the Craigslist with that symbol as well. Um, and playlist is where they came from. And like I said, one of them's got four stars, one of them's got four and a half. Um, the top one seemed to be a little bit slower than the second one. Anyway, hope this helped out somebody. And hopefully you can set it up to however you want on your phone so that you can get good deals. Whether you're trying to find, who knows, motorcycles or cars or uh, baseball cards or something. I don't know. Maybe lawn mowers or whatever you're into. All right, please subscribe, rate, comment, and have a great weekend.